it's Erin. Let's talk about getting lean. Last week, I shared five strategies for getting leaner faster. If you missed that video, I'll share a link in the description below so you can check it out. This week, I want to share a leg workout that employs four out of five of those strategies. I think it's one thing to have a list and to have the information, but practical application can be so, so helpful because you'll see how to use the strategies, how they work together, how you can make small adjustments in your current routine to lead to big results over time. So with this leg workout, we are going to crush some heavy weight. We're going to do a lot of compound movements. We'll be combining exercises, and then we'll toss in some cardio moves to kind of mix things up. The entire workout should take you about 45 minutes. So you're pretty much in and out of the gym. The results over time are going to be amazing. So without further ado, let's train. Before we get into the workout, be sure to like and comment below. So the first exercise is going to be your straight set heavy exercise. And this is a box squat. And I love going heavy on box squats because you've got the confidence of the box or the bench there. So you know if you end up going super, super heavy that you have that little bit of fail safe. Also, by sitting on the bench or the box, it allows you the time to reset your form. So here I'm going to sit and I'm going to push my weight through the heels and then really engage those glutes on the way up. So here you wanna do four sets of 10 or five sets of eight, and really be sure you're controlling that negative portion of the exercise. And be sure when you sit down on the bench that you're not rocking forward, that you're coming straight back up. And also try to keep the same form. I see a lot of people doing those box squats and they sit and they tend to kind of roll back a little bit. And I think that gets you out of form. So be sure to just use that bench as a guideline, as a resetting tool, and as a confidence builder. So here, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, weight through the heels, elbows under the bar to help stabilize yourself. Next, we'll be moving on to our first superset. So this is the landmine setup. It's usually in a collar like that. If you don't have the collar, you can put it in a sturdy corner. So here we're going to be doing landmine squats, superset with landmine RDLs. And this is going to be a push pull. So on this portion, on the landmine squat, you'll be training a little bit more of your quads. Elbows go under the bar, feet wider than shoulder width. And I'm using this bar to control the range of motion. So I'm pushing forward and into the bar on the way up and on the way down. So this is going to help give you a little bit extra guidance. The landmine encourages proper form, allows you to go pretty heavy. It's a total body workout. Now I'm dropping the weight here, narrowing the stance just a little, interlocking the fingers, keeping the back nice and flat, weight through the heels. This is going to target your glutes and your hamstrings. Now I don't go for full extension here because I want to keep that tension on the hamstrings. So for this superset, it's four sets of 10. So you're gonna be doing 10 reps for each exercise. No rest in between the squats and the RDLs, but you'll take about 45 seconds rest in between each superset. So for here, again, back nice and flat, keeping that constant tension on the hamstrings arms nice and straight, and you're basically just using your upper body to guide the bar. And you can think about leaning into the bar here too. This is gonna help put a little bit extra emphasis on those hamstrings. We're gonna add our first bit of cardio into this workout. This is a kettlebell goblet squat followed by kettlebell swings. This is four sets of 10 reps for each. So for the goblet squat, make sure you have that kettlebell right at about collarbone height. And what you're going to do is place your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, knees stay behind the toes. And thinking about moving the kettlebell with just my hamstrings and my glutes. So try to keep that constant tension on the legs and I'm moving at a pretty good pace. I'm not, you know, working on a slow negative, just continuing to move. I'm gonna pop that kettlebell down and go straight into kettlebell swings. Now with this, think about this range of motion being almost like a good morning. So you wanna to try to keep 
as little bend in the knee as possible. Think about your hips as being the hinge and think about explosively pushing that kettlebell forward using your arms and your shoulders to simply guide the kettlebell. So this is a lower body explosive movement. This is a really great glute builder. Amazing for cardio because this is a highly inefficient exercise. And anytime you have an inefficient exercise, you're going to burn calories. We're going to move on to our first tri set. This is going to be entirely done at the cable with the rope attachment. So first exercise is a cable squat. Load this weight up with about as much as you weigh and a little bit more because what you want is you want the ability to push back and up against the weight. So you don't want to just press upwards with your upper body. You want to be able to lean back. Now feet are going to be about twice shoulder width, toes out, knees out. So your knees should always follow the direction of your toes. And again, with the upper body, you're just using the upper body to stabilize yourself. So really lean against this weight on the way up. 10 reps here. Adjust the weight down just a little bit, and then we're gonna do our cable pull-throughs. So it's going to be 10 reps with each exercise here. Now with the pull-throughs, think about pushing your weight through your heels, keeping your legs relatively straight, but keep a bend to your knee. So make sure your knees are nice and soft here. Back flat. So you're using just your glutes and your hamstrings to pull your upper body forward and up. And I've got an overhand grip on the, the rope here and feet slightly wider than shoulder width. And don't be afraid to go heavier here. This is a great glute building exercise. It kind of hits that glute ham tie-in area that everyone's talking about, that, that area where the glutes attach, or the hamstrings attach to the glutes. So 10 reps, then I'm gonna adjust the weight to about 30 or 40 pounds for a cable split squat. Now with this, just make sure your legs are even on both sides. So if you've got this wide of a stance with your left leg forward, make sure your right leg when it comes forward matches where your left leg was. So everything should be nice and even, even though we're trying to lean down we want to be sure that the right and left side mirror each other. So you're just going to change leg positions. Knees stay behind the toes. Upper body stays nice and tall. Shoulders stay back. So you're going to do 10 reps on each side. And this is definitely going to start to feel more like a cardio movement because it's 20 reps and uh, it's a little bit lighter weight. But, you know, your legs will be fatigued from the previous two exercises. Moving on to our next exercise, our next set of exercises. This is a Smith Machine hack squat followed by Smith Machine Zercher squat. And then we're gonna throw in a cardio element, which is pop squats. So for the Smith Machine hack squat, make sure you have something in front of your feet to help keep your feet in place. I've got a 45 pound plate here. This is going to help really target those quads. So feet should stay together feet should be in front of your body, back should stay nice and flat, and then feel free to go below parallel on this exercise with your upper leg. Um, it, the lower you go, the more you're going to hit your glutes, and elbows should stay under the bar, and brace yourself. And I really love experimenting with where to put this plate. So you can go a little bit lighter with this the Smith machine, and place the weight out further in front of you and see which range of motion feels best for those quads. Now I'm popping the weight down for zercher squats. Feel free at this point to wrap a towel or a bar pad around the bar. Um, you gotta have really tough elbows to do this exercise. Now zercher squats, your feet are going to be about one and a half times shoulder width. Your knees should always follow the direction of your toes. Upper body nice and tall. This is an amazing exercise for hitting basically every muscle in the legs. And I find that it also hits those medial glutes and the abductors a little bit. So it can help you build that shelf on your glutes if that's what you're looking to do. So 10 reps for the hack squats, 10 reps for the zercher squats. And the towel definitely helps, but go a little bit lighter on these until you get that 
the feel for the exercise and um, until you build up a kind of a tolerance for the bar because you will build up a tolerance over time. So nice and slow with the range of motion. We're not working on slow negatives here, just going through and then go directly into your pop squats. Now with the pop squats, it's just basically a body weight squat and you're going to jump until your feet touch in the middle and then quickly jump back out to a squat. So you're gonna do 10 reps here, 30 to 45 seconds in between this little circuit and it's gonna keep your heart rate nice and high so you're gonna get those cardio benefits. Make sure you land with a nice flat foot. Keep your back flat. With any workout where you're trying to lean down, keep an eye on recovery in between your sets and your supersets. This is gonna help keep your heart rate up and give you those benefits of cardio while lifting. Now the structure of this workout is pretty great. And what you can do is you can take out specific exercises and add in the ones that you'd like to do. You can even take this structure and apply it to your upper body workouts. If you like this video and you try it, please tag me on social media. I really enjoy seeing your progress and seeing you take what's here and make it your own. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all.